Investors and Investors of Lake were green today. What an amazing, crazy, wild day. Last two days we've had in the market with the FTX drama going on with Bitcoin and crypto. And then Binance today backing out of the deal, being tied into the news and, and understanding what's going on. Looking for the downside moves on those issues. Um, just really, really helpful, really pays off. So let's just get into the charts and, and we'll talk more about some crypto charts as, as we're going through some charts. We, we've added uh, Ethereum and of course we got Bitcoin. So starting out here with AMC and you can see uh, this we broke out of this ascending triangle to the downside. It's actually a bullish pattern, but you know this time we always have a plan A and a plan B. We broke to the downside. So and it's had plenty of follow through there. So this is our bullish percent index, and you can see the 70. Sometimes we get a little over 70, but you know we struggle when we get up here, and that's usually where reversals will come. And you can see we tapped out on the 70, and we're pushing back up into a flag into the nine here. And you can see pushing back up into the nine and failing. So this is actually the Nasdaq. Let's look at the uh, S, the SPY, or the SPX, the S&P 500. You can see pretty much the same setup. Uh, we didn't have as much momentum to the downside on this pullback, but you can see same thing flagging under this nine here. Will we be able to take it back out? Uh, there has been times that like right here, you can see we pushed up into it and got a, a, a little move above it. But normally we don't, you know, fight it too hard without coming back and resetting. So I just don't know how much more this market's got into it. You know, I know November is supposed to be the bullish time of year, but this crypto is, is really weighing on the market. All these crypto issues and these forced liquidations, and that's what's going on, is these uh, some of these, these big fish are being forced out of, or they're getting margin calls. So to meet those margin calls, they, you know, have, you, obviously you can sell Bitcoin, but you can also sell stocks as well. And that's has a big part of what's going on here. There's people actually selling stocks to cover their positions. But, uh, you know, we seen a post yesterday where it was like 500,000 were liquidated. And so that means that many people were trading on margin and, and this market. That is just nuts. That is just nuts. It really is. So to put the call ratio, we're still at 115. We have not updated at 8 o'clock at night. Uh, so this is the put to call ratio I mentioned this morning. So this is the one that we watched that uh, follows the whole market, including the indices. This is the one that follows just the equities. And I mentioned this morning about how, how hot it had gotten up to 130. And look over here at the COVID area. So, you know, this is telling you what this market's doing right now. Uh, but even with the indices included, you know, 115 here. Uh, so we were higher than this just a few days ago. But we are getting really, really uh, head to market. It's just telling us that the market's really hedged for this position, worried about, you know, what's to come. So we got Ethereum here. You can see two big down days. Uh, you know, candles closed around 6 tonight, and we have started to push back up to recover. It's testing the edge of the Bollinger Band now. It's got to push up. Would not be surprised to see a, uh, depends on how, how well this candle holds. Take a look at it tomorrow. Uh, I would like to see this candle hold and then the next candle open up for respect to candle line and push up towards a nine. Uh, but we'll have to see how that candle holds right now. So we have the oscillators for the NASDAQ and we are actually at uh, 0.9, uh, negative 0.9 actually, which is right in the neutral zone. Here in the New York Stock Exchange, we are uh, still at a positive 78. So we're in a neutral zone plenty of room in, in either direction really cooled off so the SPX we've talked about this the SPX weekly chart we pushed right into a downtrend uh, and so that was two weeks ago last week we reversed off that downtrend uh, tested the uh, nine holding the nine but you can actually see exactly what happened here this candle started pushing back up last week this candle opened up and actually gapped up a little bit and we pushed up at the beginning of the week and with all the drama coming and we come back down cleared the previous uh, candle 
and working our way down. So it's just one of those things that we talked about, just happened to talk about today, is, you know, uh, really getting into the details of the candles and, and the uh, how candles work and what to expect with each and, each and every candle. And I just wanted to point this out because uh, for the ones that were in the stream today, you can see that, you know, the same thing we're talking about on the one minute chart, the five minute chart, the 15 minute chart, work all the way up to the weekly, and even, even on the monthly charts as well. You know, these patterns are powerful, these candles and the way each individual candle acts. So you can see the SPX here, we pull back below the nine, big deep candle. Uh, this chart's actually representing breath. And you can see breath is, is down down here on the lows. Uh, our moving average is also turned down. So and that's a you know we use that for signals, uh, tracking of what's going on and where momentum's coming into the market, when momentum's coming into the market. The U.S. dollar talked about this this morning, and uh, the daily levels video. You can see we've come down just about to our bottom over channel, push back up with an up day. Tomorrow is a good chance we're going to see follow through on that candle flagging back up into the nine before pulling back. Vix, you can see taking out the nine here. MACD is changing character. Uh, watch this 200 there. That's resistance. You can definitely see a change in character. Vix continuing to push up here on the 15, trying to recover. We see that right on the daily chart, the recovery. Uh, crude. You know, we had this nice strong push here. Really thought it was going to do something, but you can see right here we closed on not a textbook, but uh, uh, Evening Star here and pulling back. That's not a textbook pattern, but you can see it's working. Second candle, possibly uh, there's still still see possibly two to three candles out of that. Uh, usually when you get a candle pattern, you know, just normally you would expect to see your the next one to three candles uh, follow through. So in that case, it would be to the downside. Uh, so we here we have our advanced decline lines and you can see they all have rolled over now so we're losing the strong you know I talked about this morning that we still were showing some some breath and some sediment uh, that we're still showing some strength we are losing them you can see the highs versus lows here and uh, for the New York Stock Exchange you can see we had more lows versus highs for the SPX, uh, still more lows versus highs, more even there, and the NASDAQ itself, huge, huge red down candle there showing us more lows versus highs. So you got Apple here once again. You can see your candle pattern uh, with a strong move down, uh, breaking below. The, this candle actually pushed down below the previous candle body. Uh, that'll make sense if you were in the stream today. Uh, AMD candles into simple simple price action and simple candle anatomy can make you a lot of money if you just understand what's going on on your charts and that's what I focus on more than than you know sharing just my strategies I want you to understand what's going on in your chart because if you understand what's going on in your chart then you know how to take advantage of it and make money with it so AMD here down candle breaking below uh, the nine we still got the 20 down there you can see AMD right here breaking out of the bear flag to the downside. You can see a firm uh, breaking to the downside. There was a bad earnings there. Uh, a firm 15 minute pulling back, just a bad earnings. And you can see the huge move down. You can see huge move down. Tried to recover something pre market and just sold right off. Easy money play there. Uh, you got Aflac, we talked about this, this cup has been pushing up all week, but it did pull back today, the whole market pulled back today, still above the 9, still showing amazing relative strength. Amazon, been trading flat since earnings, uh, well, since it's pulled back from earnings, and then we did pull back again today, so we had two flat days there basically, and then snatch back three flat days. You can see Amazon here on the daily just getting getting ripped up. That's uh, sad. Or, I'm sorry, this is the weekly chart. Uh, just getting tore up there. AMC, big down candle today. Just a lot of the stuff just moving with the market. Uh, AMD, huge move down today. See it on the intraday chart. Uh, Amazon, daily, huge move down. 
tried to stop and put in a base here, wait on the nine, and, and, st and just lost it. It's one we track, uh, call out a lot of levels on that stock to make it easier to trade for members. Now uh, you can see APA broke back below the nine here. Apple, it's you can almost see a rounded top being put in here the last few days. Uh, just showing some weakness, finding some support down here, right around looks like the 135 area. Uh, 134.87 area so you can see we were found down here at 134.88 so we kind of got a double bottom here on the 15 to see how we hold that you can see AMD here as well big down candle see this is a weekly chart so what, what I'm getting ready to go over is exactly what we talk about every day so you got this huge down candle here so we're expecting follow through uh, so candle opened up and you can see when this candle opened up it actually gapped down so the candle body gapping down lets you know that you had some money to be made down to the downside filled the wick that's all we're looking for on that play so we're a lot of times we'll trade this like a scout we got our little wick play there gap down boom wick fill to get out reversal come back up so or actually you can see when it first opened up Sorry, I should apologize. When it first opened up, it pushed this way first and then come back, turn red, finish filling your wick. Uh, Art K, big down candle. Oh, and we've been talking about this thing just full of relative strength. Been catching a lot of news coming in. And, you know, you get that news live, you get the orders coming in live, you get the opportunity to trade it. Bitcoin uh, weekly just huge down candle here uh, looks looks pretty rough right now uh, So this is the daily we just talked about Ethereum two big down days here and six o'clock tonight We're trying to push back up see where this candle closes even if we could just close here and have uh, Tomorrow at six, you know when we get our new daily candle open up and try to push at least get us back in biology bands it's pretty beat up down here and unfortunately we lost a major support level at 17 and some change so now that support automatically becomes resistance and we have to power back through that um, you can see bitcoins move here last two days it's definitely slowed down but it's been pushing up that's for sure they had some news come in about 400 maxes uh, ordered for next year and then some some liners today i can't remember what the we go through so many different catalysts. The important part is we can trade them while things are happening, and that is huge. Uh, and please, if you can't be, if you're in this group and you can't be on the trading room live or be in a trading room live, please, please have these news feeds up. You know, that they're right here in Discord. They're very reliable. Please be watching these news feeds or stray away from trying to trade the market and trade the charts. Uh, the individual stocks instead of trying to trade the market so much you can see charge point here uh, breaking down chewy breaking down you can see the little bear flag there breaking down chewy 15 minute breaking down uh, consumer consumer staples uh, 200 resistance here and now it's broken back below the nine. You can see it struggled with 200. It, it wanted to push, but with the market and the crypto is coming in. Uh, crowd talked about that big bear flag right into that trend line, huge downside there. CVX, we have lost a nine here. It pulled back. We had a petroleum report today and I was so tied into crypto that I was trying to listen to the crypto news and stuff coming out that I didn't catch the details on the petroleum report, but we can see we had a huge pullback here. That's CVX's 15 minute. A DVN, this has been struggling since they dropped their dividend. Uh, DraftKings, big down candle, green candle, pushed up green candle pushed up we talk about this a lot not crazy about where this candle. i'd prefer this candle open up respect that line but in this case you can see that it gapped so this candle actually gapped up and you can see it rip back and just a lot of movement going on there lily pushing up out of uh tried to push up out of this flag and today due to uh the markets themselves everything just pulled back mostly everything pulled back xld you can see a huge down candle there 
Exxon Mobil huge down candle Ford huge down candle below the nine uh, watch that 50 for support there MACD is trying to change character uh, first solar this thing did push up today it did pull back but still worth watching as MACD is trying to pinch to the upside GME we've broken below this uh, trend line here the support of the pattern we've broken below that watch that for short side getting a little extended on some of these plays it doesn't mean you can't make money with them you just you know day trades only right now until we get you know closer to the nine so here with google you got a bear flag a fresh breakout so that one's one worth keeping an eye on watch this macd you want that macd to curve down you want to see that pinch to the downside there. Huge bear flag breaking to the downside. So you can see technical analysis called, you know, called some of these moves. Uh, you can see the cues here back below this 200 again. Remember, we got back above it for two weeks and right back below it. We're at a major support level, very close to a major support level. Uh, this big strong candle here. It's a good chance. We can get a, a at least a wick play there and that would put us below So if we can finish that fill in that wick this week That would put us below that major support level and we would open below possibly opening below that next week unless something changes TLT uh, bonds been trying to to push IWM You can see if you redraw this line right here uh, a new trend line right here that it's struggling with. I should have drew that out. Uh, IWM, you actually have one, two, three. Now, let's. So we have some more setups like this as well. I'm just going to draw one side. But do you see what you have right there? I went ahead and draw both. So you have a bear flag. You also have one, two, three. You're looking to take out the neckline. So we're looking to enter. If we open below this pattern tomorrow, we can consider going short. See your MACD's rolling over. We had this pattern on more than one stock tonight. IWM, we're rolling down here. I didn't get the price targets on there for some reason. Uh, I thought I got them all. Lockheed Martin. So possible bearish uh, move down here. Got to really see MACD's leveling out. Got a nice move up out of this flag. Market just pulled back big time. So MACD's trying to roll. If we can't hold that nine, I would expect to move back down. Mara pulling back on all this crypto news. I'm really surprised I didn't take a bigger hit than what it did. Uh, Meta working on that gap so we talked about this today we had this on the radar metal was strong for the a big part of the day pushing into that gap that's a good look at how big that gap is uh, meta 15 minute you can see the nice push up there definitely had that on the radar rate at uh, market open we were able to call that out one of the stronger stocks of the day uh, mu just weakness there Microsoft back below the nine here. A little doji up there. You can see Microsoft 15 minute kind of choppy today, but it did pull back. Uh, Microsoft weekly still above the support level. Flag in there at that nine. Got to get above that nine to push up, obviously. Moderna, we talked about this cup. This had a really nice move up today, right into resistance and pull back that would have been a day trader's dream a nice trend up and a nice trend back down uh, mro i've uh, seen some of the members today had this on the radar did a good job with it nice big pull back here big red bearish candle there mbu 15 pull back uh, the nasdaq basically the same setup here look uh put in your high you pull back so you got one two three you're looking to take the neckline out very short that pattern works both directions uh netflix i was kind of thinking we would push up and see just push up and put in more of a handle like a cup an inverted cup and handle but it's just breaking right back down 
the video you know, this chart looked really good and that crypto news come in because uh, crypt, the video does have some crypto exposure and pull back into it to the nine but it's it's just the market you can see the decent really decent move there down there today uh, you can see in the video though also trading in this channel and we run right into the uh, top side of the channel which happens to also be your 20 day uh, moving average and seeing some rejection there so we did hit resistance there oxy huge down candle you can see they pushed up at market open they pulled back but they pushed up at market open pull back push back up so you kind of got a double top there and you pull back it is a double top you just used to find a double tops on top of the chart but you test a, re, uh, a resistance level there twice and end up pulling back so we got oxy daily chart huge huge down candle there on the daily i know they had earnings uh, they did have an earnings miss um pltr pulling back here normally you would see a push up off of that into a flag but this time it just didn't work uh pltr pretty flat today paddleton you see that's rolling over testing the support plug kind of bear flagging here we did you can see at once point in time it pushed up made a nice push into that 20 and then got rejected back down so you can see SPXU, you can see a nice flag here, pushing up, flagging back down into support, trying to push up uh, one, two, three, but we need to see it take that level out there, pushing right back up into the 20 and nine and 20 there. A uh, riot breaking out of this channel to the downside. Uh, Rivian breaking out of this channel to the downside. Uh, they had earnings as well. Robolux breaking out of this channel to the downside. Huge. Actually just broke into the channel, pulling back to the downside. Uh, in between support resistance there, huge down candle. MACD rolling over. Uh, the S&P 500, same setup. Eight, one, two, three. And actually you can see the bear flag pushing up. Uh, we did take the nine out here but you can see a flag pushing up and then coming back down you would want to enter this breaking below those candles macd's rolling over there uh, salesforce big down candle here uh, salesforce 15 downtrend there so this is sark this is how you can go short with arc so if you think ARC has more downside on it, you can go in on this. Uh, we have just broken above this previous level of resistance. Just wanted to point that out. That's one of the bearish charts that we follow from the bear list. Snow pulling back here. You can see SoFi just flat. SoFi is not really, I don't know. It's just rough down there. Below that level we talked about. You know, being below that level is just, just hard on it. Uh, you can also see how the diamond here has been outperforming uh, the rest of the market. Look how strong it's been. We did pull back today. And it looks like we're probably going to see some more downside because we did close below this 9. I uh, don't have my moving average of color set on that chart for some reason. Now the SPY pushing right into this downtrend. Seeing a rejection on the weekly. Go look at a daily chart monthly chart pulling back there look at the daily so you got one two this is your third point if we can break this that's your entry is crossing that line just wanted to point that out let's keep an eye on that we have pulled down below the 20 macd is trying to roll you can see if you put a little eyeball right there you can see like the goose's head this is his beak which is beak going to open up or is it going to roll over? Looking to me like right now it wants to roll over. And that's signaling more downside. See, you know, play the price action. See what, listen to the market. See what it tells us tomorrow. You can see here on the 15. So SPY's 15 minute chart pushed up into the 20 on the 15. Pushed up into the 20 and pulled back. So it's so important to follow your moving averages. And know where your moving averages are on these charts. Your different time frames. 
So you can see the SPY here, the trend chart. We are bearish all the way around, uh, except for the midterm, the medium term trend, and it's getting ready to turn bearish. Not seeing as big move in the long term as I would honestly be expecting. Square, just been showing a lot of weakness here lately as well. Uh, SQQQ, you can, you can actually look at it as one, two, three. Breaking above that would be your entry to me. Uh, you know, you're flagging into your nine and 20 push up to me. Watch where tomorrow's candle opens up. See if it respects this candle line. If it respects that candle line, it's on. No matter what you do, you're not going to win every trade. Uh, you, we just have to accept that. Uh, the thing is, signals are there. Take it. See what the outcome's going to be. Uh, XLK, same setup here. You know, pushing up into moving hours is pulling back. You can see Tesla here breaking out of the uh, bear flag to the downside. Tesla daily just really, really weak here. Uh, picked up news this morning that Musk had sold. Actually, we were uh, members were posting that last night that uh, Musk was selling stocks, selling shares. TLT weekly looking weak. Tesla see big move down today. I've been praying to the downside definitely. TZA a uh, one, one, two, three push up that would be so looking at TZA which this is an inverse bear leverage three times for small caps for the IWM to my opinion taking that 20 out it's already out getting over that 200 would be the signal to go uh, to, for an entry there Uber putting any double bottom down here need to take out this level to go short if we do take that level out you want to watch for support here you can see we got touch points in that area so there's not a lot of room there to move before you run back into your next level of resistance ung now that's some tight price action there take a look at the daily wow gap gap down you can see that small spinning top there pretty tight wells fargo big move down there walmart down candle, not sure. Uh, I was really thinking this one would, would push up. And once again, just tangled with the market and big move down. It's a strong candle. Uh, 20, watch the 20 for your downside. XLF, the financial sector, pushed up into the 50. Uh, mobile big down candle here same setup kind of watch for this previous candle support at that previous candle big move down so then big candles i would expect more downside so follow through have a great night everyone i'll see you in the trading room